Let's talk about Josh Allen's outing because once again, back-to-back weeks in which it's just lights out. And right now he's he's firmly at the top of the uh, MVP race, I would say. I, I have to get I have to tip my cap to Jalen Hurts right now. I think it's between those two. Uh, Mahomes right up there as well. He always will be. But if we're talking about performances levied out between quarterbacks the last two weeks, I, nobody's been doing it better than Josh Allen and Jalen Hurts. Josh Allen, though, both games in prime time, both games against two uh, top-level opponents. And it's just been absolutely lights out. What we are finding now from both the defense and the offense of the Buffalo Bills is they are now showing you they are capable of winning a game in multiple different ways with differences in personnel each week. As long as Josh Allen's out there, as long as the core of that defensive front is out there, it it really doesn't matter how much the pieces get interchanged. Last week, you win 31 to 10, and Gabe Davis has a great outing, and things go, you know, according to plan, right? And Josh Allen has an amazing day on the ground, 10 rushes, 56 yards, and they win in dominant fashion. Last night, Gabe Davis isn't out on the field, doesn't play. He's hurt. Your, your wide receiver, too, nowhere, not at your disposal. You take that into consideration. How about the fact that Josh Allen last night ran the ball one time? Did you know that's the lowest amount of rush attempts Josh Allen has had in a game in his entire NFL career? And they won by more last night than they did in that Rams game. Gabe Davis, out, no problem. Not running the ball with Josh Allen, who cares? Oh, your run game, which we thought would be better this season, is completely non-existent once again? Who the hell cares? Speaking of Josh Allen, the, the, the passing game, is so, it, it is so efficient. It is so efficient that I, I am getting to the point now, and I don't know how you guys feel watching the game, and of course this is just a fool's request because it's never going to happen, but it's getting to the point now where every time this team runs, it's the equivalent of taking a knee. Josh Allen is getting this, this team down the field in such, at such a clip so efficiently. Yet every time they run the ball, it seems to develop into absolutely nothing. Same thing last night. This, this, is the, this is the stunner here. You put up 41 points, right? Josh Allen has four touchdowns through the air. And this is without Gabriel Davis. And, and this is the statistics on, on the ground. Like I mentioned, Josh Allen... It is the lowest rush attempts he's ever had in a game. So he doesn't do anything on the ground compared to what we're used to out of him. Your leading rusher by the time the, the, the starter sat, because James Cook kind of had inflated numbers based on the fact that he played in the fourth quarter and got the bulk of the carries because they were just trying to run the, the, the clock out. So I'm going to just take away his stat line because it really wasn't ref- reflective of what we saw from this run game. Devin Singletary, six carries, 19 yards. But one of those carries resulted in 16. So he had one carry for 16 and then five other rushes that that equated to three total yards. Zach Moss, three for 17. And then that's where it ends. As far as the tandem was concerned last night. Outside of James Cook and what he did in the fourth quarter to run the ball out or the clock out, Singletary and Moss combined for nine carries for... Uh, 30, 36 yards. So your, your two running backs combined for 36 yards on nine carries. Gabe Davis is hurt. And Josh Allen runs the ball one time, the least amount in his entire career. Would you have thought that would have resulted in 41 points? And this is what I'm getting at. It just, I, it, it's, it's almost to the point now where if Josh Allen's out there, it does not matter. What else, whatever the hell else happens, it really just who cares? Because the, he's going to find a way. The second leading receiver last night was Jake Kumaro. Who cares? Made it work. Eight different guys last night caught a ball. Gabe Davis is out. Okay, we'll find a way. Eight different guys caught a ball. For Christ's sake, Reggie Gilliam scoring touchdowns. We'll find a way. Who cares? 
Eight different guys catch a ball. Jake Kumaro, your second leading receiver last night, makes a beautiful 40-yard grab. Who cares? Josh Allen will get it to you. He'll put it in a spot only you can grab it.